It's like they want to get hit. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. Mauer County Sheriff's deputies are looking for suspects after $3,000 in collectible coins and bills were stolen from a woman in Austin Township over the weekend. Chief Deputy Mark May said the 62-year-old woman was out of her house for most of the morning and early afternoon Sunday. When she came back, the coins and bills were gone. The burglar entered the home through a door on the second floor, May said. It appears the door was pried open. Among the stolen items was a lockbox carrying many wheat pennies, mercury dimes, and collector's nickels. Rare $20 bills and $10 bills are also missing from the collection. Well, I'll tell you what's not missing. Good weather. It's beautiful outside. Let's take it to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's Weather on the Roof so he can tell us more about it. Matt. Trey, I would say it's pretty beautiful outside right now. It's time to enjoy the sun again. Even though it's a little bit windy, uh, it's a good thing that we escaped this weekend from all the storms. Everything seemed to move mostly to the south of us uh, Saturday and Sunday. And now we have some sun in the weather, and that's a little bit of a reward. Today's high of 54 will drop down to about 38 tonight, but the skies will be mostly clear. Uh, expects uh, the same weather Tuesday with a high of 65, uh, low around 45. The rain is going to come back Wednesday, however, and we could even have some snow again by Friday. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. That's all I have for weather on the roof today. Let's take it back to you, Trey. Thanks, Matt. Also, thanks to the Austin Public Library, one Pacelli Catholic school student will be a published poet this time next year. Sarah Holtz, a Pacelli 7th grader, will be published in the annual Compass Anthology of Student Writing. Her poem was selected by Diego Vasquez Jr., a well-known Minnesota poet who spent a week in March teaching poetry to Pacelli Elementary, middle and high school students. Sophomore Spencer Holtorf and seventh grader Elizabeth Attinger are students who may get their poems published as well. And finally, no one was injured when a black SUV ran through a first floor apartment window at Key Apartments around 3.45 p.m. Saturday. Two people inside the SUV were trapped for about 15 minutes after witnesses say the car, attempting to park in a parking spot behind the building, suddenly accelerated from their spot and through the, the apartment window. The apartment tenant, KAAL-TV employee Andrew Lovelett, was on assignment at the time of the accident. Uh, I've got to say, as the person who covered this particular accident, it was, it was really interesting. I was in the area at the time the accident happened, so I, I literally just walked on over and, and covered it, and it was, it was very odd. Uh, the accident actually happened right where I, I usually park my car, so I was really, really surprised to see news that hit so close to home, for me anyways. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community and your town, please go to austindailyherald.com.